G'day mate to what is probably the last episode on this base. So, um, quite a bit of time's run, like an hour and a half or so to get this research finished. Because it is a 5,000 pack research and military has been holding us up. And I haven't speed moduled it, I've just let it run. Um, I have done some other stuff around the base. I've gone and added a new copper outpost and a new iron outpost. Um, just because what we had was getting a little bit low. We weren't quite having the throughput we wanted. Um, as you can see, a lot of our furnaces now have nuclear fuel sitting there ready to go. Because um, there's nothing better than running your furnaces on nuclear fuel. Um, no, they're all running. So... Yeah, we're, we're, we're definitely getting there. A large chunk of the green circuit bus has been upgraded to blue belt. Um, along with a large chunk of it down here has also been upgraded to blue belt. Um, I've even put modules in our um, blue circuit build, which now that's done, we can actually look at putting in speed modules. Uh, the thing holding us back currently is actually plastic once again. And that's purely that we just can't get enough throughput from our refineries. Um, so before I do anything else, I'm just going to grab a beacon from here and copy it. And I'm going to sort of line things up. That refinery, uh, that robot can go away. Uh, okay, fine. We'll have to put some back down. And I accidentally put these just a little bit too far away that I can't get another beacon in here. But can I? I can. So we're going to hope for the best when we do this. Cut. Nope. Control X for a cut. What could go wrong, JD says out loud. And slide that up a couple of tiles. Uh, there. Let me out of the build before I get built in. Uh, okay, so hang on. First things first. Uh, oil's on this side. Woohoo! Research done! Um, <clears throat> yeah, sure, why not? Uh, and we might as well get that research as well. Uh, where does oil come in? Oil comes in that side. Water comes in... No, that's oil. That was water. I think that came in from one of these. Nope, that's weird. Really okay, so that's gonna go up to there. Hook that back in. Uh, we need to copy that petrol line and put it back in right about there. Uh, yeah, that reaches. Uh, you've got oil and you've got water magically. I don't care how. Uh, oh, from that one. Okay. And then the last thing we need to do is power. Lots of power poles. Now I can do the same, I can put productivity modules in these guys um, to get bonus bonus free uh, petrol, light oil and heavy oil out of these guys. Honestly, I don't need bonus, I just need to run faster. And we've sort of got to our limit on just adding um, adding uh, more refineries. We just really don't have the room. Uh, now the oil pipe's dead. Why is the oil pipe dead? <laughs> I 
The oil pipe's dead because we're actually using all of it. Uh, I've also added more... More beacons down here. Just really quickly drop these in place. Anywhere possible. So at the same time, I, I do need to say, this is probably, I, I, I want to say probably the last episode. Um, never know, we, we might end up doing two episodes out of what's left. Um, we really only have two big projects left. One is to get some artillery put down, and two is to go play with some nukes, because everything goes better with nuclear, nuclear rockets, you know, atomic bombs. Everything works out better with atomic bombs. Uh, make sure everything's powered up 15 different ways from Sunday. Everything's blue, so we'll call that done. We'll call this build done. Um, okay, so hopefully that'll give us enough plastic. I doubt it because we've been screaming through plastic for a long time. We are sort of making 37,000 uh, petroleum and using all of it. If we go to fluids, 10 minute graph, uh, one hour graph, we've been doing extreme amounts for quite some time. Um, it's, we've really maxed out our refinery. Um, this is the point I need to start looking at. If I was to keep going, I'd, I'd start looking at doing things off site. So, um, artillery, we've unlocked artillery. We've now unlocked, uh, nukes. So the two things I want is I want artillery shells. So that's going to be the first thing we're going to get building. And I'm going to be a little bit, well, no, I'm probably not going to be impatient. Uh, so artillery shells require explosives, explosive cannon shells and radars. Um, and they do take a wild craft. It's 15 seconds per shell. So first things first is we're going to get our explosives. We're going to run them straight into there and we're just going to run that down there um next thing i'm going to need is the cannon shells which we're going to run down here uh cannon shells are going to be super lazy and i'm literally going to put down a requester box ask for all the possible ones i have in stock and we're going to have them shipped in um, it's not going to be enough to maintain the sort of production we, we're going for. Where are my shells? Uh, that's normal shells. That's those shells. They're right there. Um, yeah, it's not going to be enough to maintain our production in the slightest. Um, but it should be just enough to just get the ball rolling. Um, and get some of these artillery shells done. Last thing I actually need for the recipe is a radar. Now, radars have like the simplest recipe ever. Um, and they don't take long to craft. But you do need to get a lot of stuff into that assembler to get a single radar out. Um, and that's actually probably the biggest constraint with this particular... Um, or trying to get radars built in a hurry. So we're going to go lots of ins. We're going to put that belt there, that belt there, that underground there. Um, okay, so iron's got to be one of these guys. Green circuit's got to be another. Gears has got to be the final one. So there's one. No, you just became one. Uh, iron... As these are the last builds, I really don't care how they look. It's sort of right on the end of our bus. Uh, gears, gears, gears. Where did I leave the gear belt? That's it. Biters are definitely causing us trouble. Um, I haven't looked. Do we have behemoths yet? I can't see any. Um, Power, uh, power, power. 
Then we're just going to take things out on this side with a heap of longhand inserters. And that's our three prerequisites. So in, 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 uh, in, whoops, in, 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 power, uh, out, 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 in, 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 power again. Make sure this is as even as I can get it. So we can then just go copy, paste, paste, paste paste and paste. Uh, last thing I'm going to do is obviously put some boxes down here so the bots can deal with, with the artillery shells when they're done. Um, artillery shells stack in a grand stack of one. So I'm going to have a lot of boxes. So next thing we actually need is an artillery turret, which requires some gears, which we are lucky we have just right here. Uh, it needs concrete. Uh, request some concrete and that's really all we need and I didn't grab enough gears so we'll grab some more gears and as you can see even with the way this is going we still don't quite get in iron fast enough We are also running out of iron in the base. Oops, I just did that wrong twice. Uh, that should move everything down to start making radars as fast as possible. We are making our two shells reasonably fast, I hope. Yeah, yeah, I'd say yes. Um, where is my concrete still haven't got to me? On its way, 100. Okay, please hurry up, bots. Seems like a better number. If you're going to do this, let's if, 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 if we're going to build artillery, let's go big. Now, there are two types of artillery. We have artillery turrets. We also have, wherever trains are, an artillery wagon. Now, the artillery wagon does have the advantage of it can be hooked up to one of your trains, which is very, very good if you wish to go out and drive a train out to clear out the biters. Or... Um, what I've done in previous playthroughs is I have, on my outpost trains, literally just put an artillery turret on the back and made sure I'm bringing artillery shells in to reload that turret. Um, it does mean I've got to tweak the um, settings to rather than empty cargo, it's you know, iron ore equals zero, or copper, or, or stone, or coal, or uranium, whatever it happens to be. Um, so a small tweak there. Um, but it is a really, really great way, um, to have your outposts covered by artilleries to make sure that the biters don't get too close. Because we're going to pop some artillery turrets down here. I've just put down some buffer chests so the poor logistics bots can go to the far end of the base, grab the artillery turrets two at a time, or the artillery shells two at a time, and fly all the way across the base and start bringing us artillery shells to pop here for us um two three yeah lots 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 of artillery shell uh, artillery turrets done um oh the other thing we want to do is we have the power of nukes so nukes require explosives which is unfortunately all the way back where we were rocket control units and 30 uranium 235 now our stockpile of 235 is still at 4.2k um, you can see that now the way the system loops, it's actually under pressure. Um, it's looping all the time because we are pulling out so much uranium to turn it into um, 
nuclear fuel to feed into our sm uh, smelters. Most of it's still actually sitting on the belt. There's not that much in any of these smelters. Um, you can see some of them are still running on solid fuel. Um, I doubt we're going to have any running on coal. No, he, he regrets that saying that as soon as he said it. Um, so we've even got st one still running on coal here. Um, eventually, they'll all be running on, on uranium. It just takes a long time to have enough buffer sit on the sitting on the belt. Um, but it does mean at night time, it's oh so pretty and oh so glowy. Um, okay. We need... Uh, I need my rocket launcher back. Because that's somewhere. On their way, two. I got two rocket launchers. Awesome. Uh, explosives. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put down request chest, uh, passive provider chest right there. Put that in there. Put that in there. And I'm probably just going to let this fill up. Because we're not going to use them at a massive rate. Um, there. I'll, I'll, I'll cap it because I know there will always be somebody in the comments that will go, Oh, you didn't cap that. Well, it's now capped. Um, so yeah, atomic bombs. Um, we can literally build these just about anywhere at this stage because we're going to have the robots do all the hard work. Uh... But I'll put it up near the uranium so it sort of feels at home. We're going to do... Assembler. Uh, no, that one's actually real. That one's not real. That one, that one, that one. We're going to put down a requester. A provider. We're going to tell you to build atomic bombs. Which do have a 50 second craft time. So I'm going to copy from this one. Paste to this one. Put down the requested chest, paste to the requested chest as well, and then paste to that one. Uh, and then in, in, out, 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 in, out, out. Uh, substation, substation. And we're going to start making nukes. Put that in there. Put that in there. Put that in there. We want an artillery targeting remote as well. We've got a bunch of artillery. So let's try these babies out. So using the joy of a buffer chest, robots have brought the shells close to us. Not like where we, exactly where we want them, but close enough. Uh, actually, let's do... We got four of them. Let's do one, two, three, four. Request chest in the middle. Artillery shells, 48. Tick the button to request from buffer chest, and boom, suddenly this, this will get filled up real fast. Uh, put power here. And a fast inserter. One, two, three, four. If we bring up our range, we can see our artillery turrets really don't shoot that far. But if I pick up the artillery targeting remote, well, actually, let's look at this first. So we got automatic range of 224, but a manual range of 560. Um, so if I pick up the targeting remote, we can now see the range is all the way out here, um, which is really good because I'm going to, well, first off, I'm going to shoot that because that's a worm. Uh, that's a bite that's just stuck. And that's a dead whatever it was. And we have a 0% chance of behemoth biters. We're actually going to kill off all the biters before we even get behemoth spawning. So, let's try that again. And um, we can see by the number 4, I've actually got 4 artillery turrets in range. Out here I've got 0 in range right on the edge so i've got one i've got two i've got four so we're going to target you 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 and you and boom 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 if we go over here dead 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 quick as that uh artillery remote target 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 
Just going to clear the map real fast. Oops, thanks auto save. And we can see like that whole area is now pretty much cleared out. Oh, there's got some worms we're going to deal with. we we'll just get rid of them real fast. Yeah, I miss these worms. Um, but I'm always happy just to, you know, essentially just target things on radar. Because the shells, after you start, as with everything in Factoria, everything's really expensive to start with. But after you start automating it, everything becomes really cheap. Uh, you don't really worry too much about what the cost is for one artillery shell. The other thing I can do is I can... Oh, there's a whole bit of, bit of base here I missed. The other thing I can do is because they have that radar in there, they actually provide sight for you. So I can shoot out here into the water or out here into the black and into the lake and get some sight range to work out oh look there's a friendly neighborhood target that i missed and i can do yeah i can do the the the, the targeting from either map view or from the zoomed in actual view um, either or uh, i often prefer to do things from map view that way i can see where the edge of my range is and get exploring oh, I can get exploration on that chunk as well here we did yet oh we're we're, we're 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 out of shells or close to no we're out of targets that's even worse you can go away uh, maybe 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 I, I i like the philosophy if i shoot the red dots eventually there'll be no red dots left because either the biters have moved on or they're all dead <laughs> Uh, okay, so now that's done, where are we up to with our nukes? I have one nuke, I have two nukes. I... The bots are not getting stuff in the air and across here fast enough because they've got to come from the other side of the base. So what we'll do is we'll actually come in here and we go, you're requesting from far right, bring me 50. You're also requesting from far away. Bring me 50. There is 50 on their way and 40 on their way. And I'm going to copy that one to there. And hopefully that will speed things up. We're going to grab 200 speed modules, which is overkill. We're going to use upgrade planner and upgrade these guys as well to tier 3. So yeah, as I say, this is, well... No, you know what? We're 20 odd minutes in. We've still got a certain amount of the island to finish clearing off. Um, we've shown off the demonstrator of the artillery, at least. I, I haven't demonstrated the artillery wagon because it's basically the exact same thing. And boy, do those fl trains fly on nuclear fuel. They really don't slow down for much. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to end this episode here. We got to play with the artillery turret. Um, we got to make some nukes. We haven't fired any nukes yet, but we're going to do that shortly. Um, we're going to come back for one last episode, episode 50. It shall be the finale. Um, we'll come back for episode 50. Uh, and we will get some nukes and we'll go play chicken with the nuclear rocket launcher, I figure. That, that seems like a good way to end out the series. So, thank you guys for watching. As always, I really, really do hope you've enjoyed this series. By all means, down in the comment section, tell me all the things that I didn't cover during the series. Because I know I've, I've, I've actually gone through the whole series list and, and, and looked at what I did and didn't cover. And I, there's, there's quite a few things, little things that I didn't cover that I really should have. Um, but, you know, maybe for version 1.0, I can cover them then. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Really hope you've enjoyed this series. I will see you in the next episode for the last episode along with a sneak peek or, or, or uh, a sneak bit of news as to what's happening in the series after this one. So, thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one. Bye!